We are here in BLM land in, I believe it's Ironwood National Monument. Yep. In Arizona. So what are we doing today? Today we're caravanning. We're caravanning with the roads we roam and we are slowly making our way up to Utah because guess what? There's an escapers convergence. Good morning, Dub Nation. This is Ace. And I'm Amanda. And together we are two Dub Nation. Yesterday we went to the National Park. It was about 30 minutes away. Saguaro National Park. Three down and a lot more to go. Like to treat ourselves to what we call roads that we only pull this out and treat ourselves to one piece of candy is it's nougat soft nougat so we each get one and it's pretty delicious check it out road snack time road snack it's tough but it's good <laughs> We needed a break. We're at, We're at Rooster Cockburn. Carrie and Russ had mentioned that they have stopped here before and it was kind of like the halfway point to our first KOA campsite. So we are stretching our legs and feeding gonna, some birds. Mm -hmm. Gonna we'll feed some birds. And maybe and, some other animals. Yep. It, and it's our first KOA visit too, so we're looking forward to that. So let's go feed some ostrich and some other stuff. Let's do it. There's two prices for admission. The first one is $12, the second one is $15. For $12, you can feed everything but the stingrays. For an extra $3, you can feed the stingrays as well. And there's a video, well, you grab your cups, and you have different foods in your cups and there's a video that shows you how to feed the animals properly before you come out into the area. And you want to feed the stingrays, trust me. Yes, you want to feed the stingrays. Pay that extra Inside three bucks. Scoop. Treat cam. Hi. Check out the amazing view at this place. We're gonna feed the parakeet. Here you go guys, here you go. Ah, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> we got Russ demonstrating how to feed a goat. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Don't jump over. I'm coming. There we go. Oh, look at this guy. I, I like his goatee. <laughs> goatee. Like Unfortunately, I'm allergic to bunnies. I can't participate in this one. Jelly rabbit tracer for kids. Here you go. But I got something else. Here you go. Here you go. I like that one. Here you go. I think you have to uh, drop it. No, I want them right, oh, right there, right yeah, uh, there. Oh, he's like, nope, don't touch me. I'll take your food though. Duck feeding time. There you go. Oh, sh you gotta make a fist, babe. Like this? Yes. And they'll. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, ooh, peeking duck. <laughs> You're like, oh shit. Unlike my husband, I paid attention to the sign. When you feed the ducks, you're supposed to put it in a fist and they put their bills in. I'm double fisted. Yeah, there we go, yeah. Yeah? We have 
have specific instructions on how to feed the stingrays. You put your paw out and you don't curl your fingers. And you put the squid in between your fingers just like that and they slurp it up like spaghetti. Let's see. <laughs> they also have a little gift shop. We'll probably maybe grab a magnet or something. Oh, so mysterious. To commemorate our visit here at the Rooster Cockburn Ostrich Ranch, we bought a magnet and an extra token if you ever decide to visit here. This is going in the fun box. Well, the fun box is what we hit a thousand subscribers with. Give me this coin and a few other great stuff. We had a great stop here at Rooster Cockburn ostrich form so we're heading to the KOA around the Apache Junction so let's roll. Let's roll. We're here at our KOA site in Apache Junction just checked in and we got site 121 I'm here with my Indian friend he doesn't say much but we're excited for our first KOA. We had just a little difficulty backing in, but thanks to Dennis for helping backing us up. Yes, thanks Dennis. He was one of the KOA uh, maintenance crew. Yeah. He showed us to where our site was and he helped us back yeah. in. These sites are a little small too, but... But we did it. We, he did it. I'm not... I no, tried. we are a team. <laughs> so yeah, they say the smaller the rig, the harder it is to back into some. And so. I believe it because this trailer, just the tiniest little movement and it'll do like this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but he got it done. We're going to get settled in and ready to go. Yep. Our awning is rather old and it needs a little TLC. It looks like duct tape is the TLC it's going to be getting. We're just wanting it to last through the season so maybe when we save up a little bit more money we can get a new one so here we go <laughs> I just realized this morning that we didn't close our video out for yesterday we got into the KOA campground set up camp chilled for a little bit and then we had some pizza with Russ and Carrie from the roads we roam and we kind of called it a night then but this morning, if you can tell, I'm not in the casita. I'm not in the birdhouse this morning. I'm actually in Carrie and Russ's Little Guy Max. One of the great things about caravanning is if you need to run errands or something, especially if you have pets, you have someone to look after your pets. They are had an appointment Carrie and Russ had an appointment this morning, so I'm looking after their fur babies, Abby and Billy, and then later on this evening, they will be looking after Polly for Ace and I so we can go out. So that is another great thing about caravanning and finding friends on the road. You don't have to worry about your fur babies as much. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a member of the Dove Nation. This is Amanda reminding you to keep soaring to the end. Out. It was Solaro National Park, three down and a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I had to turn around the wrong Stop. way. <laughs>